Hello and welcome to The Daily Decrypt, episode 14. I'm your host, Amanda. Today, Bitcoin is $273. Dash is $2.34. Bitshares is 38% of a cent, and Monero is 39 cents. In cryptocurrency news, the physical Bitcoin company, Denarium, has announced that they will release the world's first multi-signature Bitcoin physical coin. What does this mean? Denarium co-founder Henry Braid explains that this will make their coins trustless, as users can generate their own private key, send it to Denarium, and Denarium will generate their private key in return. This means that even if Denarium were dishonest and kept copies of their set of the private key, a two of two multi-signature Bitcoin could not be spent by them and could still only be spent by the user. The company issues coins in denominations of one one hundredth and one tenth of a Bitcoin. In more cryptocurrency news, uControl.tv is combining Bitcoin with charity with the Internet of Things. Bitcoin holders can visit uControl's website and donate either to The Water Project, Sean's Outpost, or to uControl's water bill. Once the donation is received, users can watch water pour into a bucket on live streaming television. The more is donated, the more water pours, making charitable giving an interactive experience for the donor. In security news, Nicholas Weaver has tweeted, What's the point of Slack? Is it just an easy to subpoena IRC in web channel for lawyers to love going through for discovery? The sentiment got many retweets and had many wondering if Slack is indeed the best place to discuss private business plans. A potential alternative for those looking to have private meetings in online chat rooms is a new website called Chatlink. Chatlink is open source and uses 256-bit AES encryption to make the servers unaware of what's being discussed in links. A user need only generate a new URI, pass it around amongst his colleagues, and a private chat room is established that functions like IRC. No account creation is necessary. In gadgetry news, CNET reports that a smash hit Japanese robot called Pepper will be making its debut in France soon. The $1,600 companion robot, which has sold out within the first 60 seconds every time it's been released in Japan, is programmed to follow vocal commands and, its makers claim, read human emotions and respond accordingly. The robots will be spotted in France's Carrefour markets, where they will be giving customers wine pairing suggestions. And in more gadgetry news, Engadget reports that Singapore's research company ASTAR has successfully created artificial neurons and used them to teach a robot how to navigate on its own. The artificial neurons are based on what's called grid or place cells. In humans and animals, our grid cells fire when we encounter a part of our environment which is familiar to us. According to ASTAR's report, their robot was set loose in their office and its artificial neurons fired accordingly as it attempted to navigate. And that has been your Daily Decrypt. Subscribe to get reminders every time we upload a new video, or check out our podcast on SoundCloud, where you can also subscribe and be reminded. Automation.